Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. 25th of January. Last, basically last three or four days, trading days of the month. Uh, let's see what's going on. A couple of things moved last night. Let's go straight to Aussie. Uh, this looks a bit stretched. Um, inflation came in a bit hawkish. Aussie popped after some very, very interesting buying down at 71.10, at 70.10 and 70 cents. It looked like going into the fix yesterday, there was some weird institutional buying, also in Euro 108.40, um, also in dollar China. Uh, let, we'll get into that. But now we're a little bit extended. Um, you can sell this into. 71.30 I think today um, and just sort of trade a little bit of a range trade type deal dollar cad uh, looks like she wants to break down but it's just holding tight obviously the BOC today at 4 p.m. so uh, don't get your knickers in a twist in the cad world quite yet uh, but she does look like she wants to head lower if you look at this on the four hourly Something's going on here at 133.40. Uh, the low, recent range low is 133.20. Uh, down through 133, um, this has room to run. Left-hand side, dollar CAD uh, looks decent right now. The whole world is expecting a, mild, a pretty dovish uh, BOC today. If they're hawkish, uh, this thing drops like a stone. Uh, so just be aware. Rates um, getting into the zone where we want to trade this again. We're waiting um, somewhere between 345 and 335. You want to sell tens. Um, just being patient here. Not really sure why this is happening. I guess I don't know. Um, oil's down. You know, inflationary indicators are lower. Um, who knows, but we're going to fade this again between 345 and 335. So you're selling tens um, there. What else? Let's go to Euro. Um, very, very interesting price action yesterday. Um, this bar in particular, 108.36 the low. Once we got through 48, you see there was a cacophony of sellers, <clears throat> but just absorbed um, by what was classically looked like a real money bid, right? Um, you've been around long enough. You can just see these things. You can smell them. You can feel them. We wrote it on Twitter yesterday. We're like, boy, Euro's weirdly bid. Uh, should be lower. It's not lower. Why isn't it lower? That means someone's buying it. And usually someone big, oftentimes someone stupid, um, doesn't know how to disguise an order. Um, or, you know, if I'm being more charitable, you can't disguise an order if you have like four billion to buy. So if you've got four yards of euros to buy, there's no really way to disguise it. You're just on the fucking bid. Um, and this was a little bit of a, I wouldn't say it was a, it was a freebie, but back up through 50. Um, yeah, we did wear, we did wear 10 points on that, but you know, that's nothing really when you, when the scheme of things that, Combined with the Aussie price action, combined with our old friend Dollar China, same type of deal. We wrote on Twitter yesterday. Don't have to be a drunk orangutan <clears throat> um, to understand that someone fucking huge is selling Dollar China at six seventy nine. Uh, and so you see the six seventy nine offer. Could be Bank of China, could be, I don't know, could be anybody. Could be, uh, you know, the Virgin Mary up there, um, drinking Bloody Marys, selling Dollar China. Who knows? Um, God bless her. If she did, she made some money. Uh, but you had Dollar China, then you had the weird price action in Aussie. Stocks were collapsing. Aussie would not go lower. And then you had the weird fucking price action in Euro dollar. What does this all mean? It basically means that um, Euro is going to be trading 111 very soon. Um, 
so you just want to buy euro on dips uh, and I'm not super comfortable selling dollar China because I'm worried about China um, and in fact we'll break trade dollar China same strategy through 679.50 uh, if we're up there that means the selling is over um, and if we're up there after the selling is over if we're if once the selling finishes you know this thing should be six 650 right if we're up at 679 50 that means we're heading to seven and there's something incredibly wrong um, in China so that's an interesting break trade there but I just wanted to tie it all together we just saw some very weird institutional type flows yesterday and what do those flows usually mean one of my buddies um, was saying you know this is so typical of long-term u.s asset managers who are now buying assets in europe assets meaning they could be buying dax cac mib european stocks european reits european assets whatever the fuck european asses uh, maybe they're just buying a bunch of uh you know french asses um as in donkeys um god knows uh, but they're buying uh something european their dollar base so now they have to change their dollars into euros and put it into asses um, put it into the ass man we're doing a lot with um, it's ass all ass backwards it's kind of asinine um, this whole line of thought um, anyway this is bullish for euro these are long-term flows you can assume that um, when you see one monkey doing this, there's other monkeys here to follow. So you're just going to see a floor in euro dollar, I think, going forward. Um, so buying euro dollars on dips now looks like the steady play. Um, what else is there? Euro Swiss. Um, you know, as long as euro is so bid, euro Swiss is continue. It's going to continue to be bid. This gets stretched today up at uh, 101. Um, just a range play right buy it i don't know 20 30 sell it 90 10 uh, but it shall remain bid i think euro swiss gold we talked about it yesterday it wasn't really a break trade up through uh, 1936 traded all the way down to 1916 um now we're just dicking around here no i have no idea what the fuck what the next leg in gold is um Feels like people are fairly long gold, uh, and there could be some trouble. But if Euro dollar is going to stay super bid, um, so is gold. Let's. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about here. We got dollar cad is kind of the main thing here. Like we're gonna watch this one thirty three forty level into the BOC again. This is a break trade. Um, I guess we're. We're selling Aussie um, up 25.30. Oops, Aussie's already lower. 94.97. Um, this Aussie price action does not make a ton of sense to me, except for the fact that the dollar is a little bit offered right now. A little bit exaggerated, especially if stocks uh, turn. So back down through 4,000 could be a problem for stocks. Um, I don't know. Um, Aussie looks a little bit overdone here. Dollar yen is not doing anything, and we're waiting for dollar cad, waiting for BOC. It looks like a patient stay in general here. <clears throat> Try and buy euros on the dip. Back down at 96 now. Maybe fish for some euros between um, 70 and 80 today. Um, and just go from there. All right, that's all I really got. You know, it's a patient stay. We're waiting for the BOC today. If they're hawkish, uh, we smashed our CAD uh, and hope for the best. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. See you tomorrow.